Swisscom is the ex-incumbent telecom operator of Switzerland, similar to what AT&T is here. Um, I'm the VP of Innovation. We have a small team in Silicon Valley. We've actually been here since 1998. We came with internet hype, so we've been here for a long time. We do most of scouting at different levels. Um, on the one side, it's a strategic input to get a little bit of idea where the telecom market is going. And the telecom market is major disruption. It's been in it for years. Uh, so we've kind of disrupted uh, and merged with the time market, telecom, inf telecom information, media, and entertainment. Yeah. But now we're seeing similar collapses with the health, with um, education, with the government, with energy. Um, also business models, what could be potential business models and where the value creation is for the customer, because in the end, no value creation, no customer, no money. Right, right, right. <laughs> so we look on the one side strategic, and that is often a little bit our top management. Um, then we also, once we've decided a little bit the directions we're going, then we help the people, the product managers, find new solutions, new technologies. Um, we need to be ahead through innovation. So we do a lot of things with startups, um, and it's quite interesting to sometimes see some of the startups we work with then get bought up by Cisco or get bought up by Oracle. And so for us, it's important to, to be in early. We have a Swisscom venture fund. Um, now the venture fund, they do have a financial target. It's clear corporate venturing basically means it has to bring strategic value, but you're always looking at the company also from a financial value. Um, and it's a more of a, of a long term. And on the other side, if you do scouting, you're really looking for strategic value. So you need um, a champion or a sponsor in the mother company to take up that something. So you're addressing real needs. And a lot of the needs um, are not necessarily solved through a startup. You know, it can be a major project with one of the big players here. And again, a lot of it is also in Europe because I mean, in the, if you do investment, you want to have a close relationship. So it's so we focus on Europe and in Israel to some extent, and a few and a few things here, like many of the international uh, telcos. On the startups, um, uh, sorry, on the scouting side. Sometimes we were just interested in learning about something. For example, when WiMAX came out, um, so, you know, like all the telcos were, wow, WiMAX, what do we do with it? Is this the solution or do we go, you know, another, do we build on the cellular technology or do we go WiMAX? And so we worked with a lot of startups there to, and we did trials and we test. We were one of the first ones to actually do real life tests. We went to the city of Bern, we got a test license from the regulator, and then we actually streamed um, TV because our goal was to stream TV to homes to test what it's worth. So it has very different uh, purposes. Other things like OTA, um, we were one of the first ones to get involved with Bitphone. We're still using them today. So, you know, it, it has a little bit different purpose. <laughs>